It's important to know what copyright does not protect. Copyright does not protect titles, short phrases, uh, the name of a company, the name of a performing group. It really does not protect a groove or a vibe or a feel. It does not protect the style of a music. And again, if you study the copyright law carefully and you read it carefully, which very few people do for good reason, it's about 140,000 words. And if you're looking to, to learn about music, like what the copyright law protects with respect to music, you'll find very little in there. Uh, the word melody occurs once, but there's no mention of rhythm, note, tune, tempo, chord progression, none of that. There are also these myths people have heard that, oh, there's the five note rule or the seven note rule. You can't copy four chords or six chords or three seconds or nine seconds. There are no such things like that in the copyright law. The copyright law is wonderful for what it does, and it really has to be fairly vague to be able to accommodate changes. And you also can't predict what could constitute copyright infringement. But let me get back to titles and names. What is legal is if you are looking for a name for your band, is to name your band after the name of someone's song. That happens more often than you might think. There's a famous artist you know named Lady Gaga. She heard a song by Queen called Radio Gaga and said, from now on, I'm Lady Gaga, and that's perfectly legal. The Rolling Stones got their name from a song by Muddy Waters called Rolling Stone. Great, great song he did in 1950, just electric guitar and him singing. It also became the name of a magazine. The magazine Rolling Stone named itself, named the magazine after the Muddy Waters song. And the group Radiohead. Radiohead got their name from a Talking Head song called Radiohead. In the film True Stories, you'll hear, you'll see that being performed, and it inspired them to, to come up with that name. It's a common and legal thing to do to name yourself or your band after a movie. Examples of where that took place, the, the group Fine Young Cannibals named themselves after a film called All the Fine Cannibals. Wu-Tang Clan named themselves after a film Shaolin and Wu-Tang and again, legal and to be expected. I hope that gives you an idea of what is not protected by copyright.